It's not easy living with chronic pain, but millions of Americans deal with this debilitating condition. Brooke Thomas is a certified rolfer and is here to tell us about a form of body work that changed her life for the better. Welcome, Brooke. It's great to Thank have you. you. And we also have our intern, Lauren, who has volunteered to be part of this segment. Let's talk about how this helped you. You had a jaw sure. disorder? Yeah, I actually had a birth injury. So when I was born, the cord strangled me. And so I had facial paralysis, a neck injury, and a jaw injury. So I basically grew up with chronic pain. And I got roughed when I was 22. So it was 22 years of progressive chronic pain. And by the time I was 22, I was a train wreck, basically. I couldn't open my mouth. I couldn't turn my head. And um, when I got roughed, it, you know, my first series of 10, we worked traditionally in a series of 10 initially, it got rid of my chronic pain by about 90 percent and now I'm at about 98 percent. That's um, amazing. And it's been 12 years since I did my initial series. So what is wolfing? It's a form of body work where we work primarily in the connective tissue and we do that because our goal is to change alignment, so to change structure. I mean basically my job is to make people feel more effortless in their bodies. I feel all better. All crankiness can go away that you have to think about all the time. Can you give me a little bit of a yeah, quick sure. demonstration here? So this connective is... tissue work is very slow. Okay. It's like watching paint dry. Okay. <laughs> not super fun for no, It's almost like a massage, but it's not, right? No, it's, it's different in a couple of um, key ways. First of all, that we're mostly working in connective tissue, whereas in massage, they're working over muscle bellies. Um, and also that it's much more strategic. So we're thinking about the body like a big, beautiful, elaborate suspension bridge and looking at where are, have those cables gotten put in funny positions so that the bridge can't function appropriately anymore. And we're trying to get everything to, to change and be more aligned and All be right. more open. So okay. that's what connective well, tissue work Thank feels. you. That felt really good. <laughs> um, let's move on to Lauren. Let's yep. see what you can do with her. Sure. Now, basically, um, would you say that the shoulder area is a, a problematic area Everyone. for most people? I mean, in general, so we all sit a ton in our culture and we're yes. always sitting mostly in front of our computers or at our cars. So you do that, right, Lauren? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a coincidence that basically everybody it's very hard to find somebody who doesn't have shoulder neck or or spine okay. pain and we all have to work very hard to keep ourselves sitting upright so this is seated back work which is a really sort of foundational piece of roth wing we weave it in most of our sessions and it's a way of releasing the big muscles that work too hard like the traps in the shoulders while also re-educating all those tiny fine little muscles that are closer to the spine that can really help it be more effortless if they get a chance to do their job without being bullied out of the way by the big guys, <laughs> then you have a lot less pain. So let's, let's um, get going with yeah. Lauren's shoulders and so show everybody what you do. Basically, you can sit feet planted on the floor, so scooch a little forward so they're nice and flat and comfy. And this is going to be rolling through the spine. So to start, I'm going to get up here on the traps. Everybody needs this work. <laughs> and then slowly, slowly rolling forward from the crown of your head not hinging at the waist but just like you're a rag doll that's kind of flopping down how's that feel lauren and let your arms hang feels pretty good actually nice and shoulders. relaxing so you see how she wants to work through her shoulders to yes. pull herself down so come on back up a little bit you can just let your arms hang it's really hard for us to be effortless in our arms and shoulders because we're so used to using them overusing them all the time which is why we all have sore necks and shoulders what are the overall benefits of rolfing well, most people that we work with have chronic pain or mobility issues of some kinds. We also work with um, athletes who are trying to improve performance. So our goal really is that you can have a happier body, significantly less or completely removed chronic pain, and not have to worry about feeling cranky and tired in your body all the time. So you're going all the way down all the way lower down. back. And then what you can do, Lauren, to come back up is to come from your low back. So you're going to have to really work in your legs and in your core. So that turns on some of those deep spinal muscles. And your head is the very last thing to come up. So think about right. rolling up through each part of your vertebra. That's great. And I'm just going to put a little pressure on your sacrum downwards. And the last piece, just thinking about getting long through the crown of your head. And it's not a big muscular movement, but it's like you can feel the two directions of your spine. So you're moving up through here and then resting down through your sacrum, which just lets you get long through here. And that's just a way of working some of the tissue that's been overworking and overstressed while waking up those little fibers that have basically been asleep at the job. What's another area that uh, people that we see chronically? That see chronically? Well, neck and shoulders, I mean, I keep saying I need some kind of prize for the first person I see who has happy shoulders because <laughs> <laughs> it's been almost 11 years in practice and I You don't ever see anybody yeah, no, you don't with see happy that. shoulders. I think it's our computers, I don't know. Um, so lots of shoulder stuff, neck and head stuff, um, and low back, of course. Low back. Lots of low back issues come up for people as well. 
Very yeah. good. Now, we just want to give a quick shout out right now to Brush and Floss Dental Center for bringing us our health and fitness segments each week. Brooke, thank you so much for thank joining you. us and telling us about Rolfing. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs>